parents, guardians, students, and families. I would like to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is James Raymer, and I am the proud principal of Merritt Island High School. Thank you for taking time to watch our showcase video where you will learn more information about the opportunities we offer here on our campus. During the video, you will hear from current students and staff members on our programs, academics, athletics, and extracurricular activities. Our school is founded on three core principles of pride, tradition, and family. I have no doubt that during the video, you will feel the pride that we have for our school, the tradition of excellence that we pursue, and the family culture that we are creating on our campus. Enjoy the video, and as always, Go Mustangs! So one of the things that we offer through our academy is not only do we put kids on a track to get their AP diploma, but also their capstone diploma, which makes them very, very marketable in the college scene. We are seeing uh, more and more every year that colleges are becoming very, very, very competitive and um, a 4.0 doesn't always do the trick anymore. A lot of the other choice programs around the county are at schools that don't have, that aren't as big as Merritt Island and they don't have the activity base that we have here at Merritt Island. So when kids are involved in our AP Academy, not only do they have the opportunity for the higher level academics, which Merritt Island is one of the schools that offers the largest number of AP classes in the district, but they also have the opportunity for all of those regular high school activities that kids love, SGA, athletics, a million different clubs to pick from, that sort of thing. I attended a previously IB program in middle school and I didn't really much care for the program and I thought I could succeed more at, in the AP Academy here. Of course, the AP Academy wasn't introduced until my junior year in high school, but I did want to take AP classes because I knew they offered the most AP classes at Merritt Island compared to the other schools in Brevard. So the AP Academy is an academy that helps guide students down their path of choosing AP courses in an effort to help them earn their AP capstone diploma, and it helps them uh, discover new colleges that they might not have known existed or were available to them. Uh, one good thing about the AP Academy is we are assigned advisors based on in our interests. So we have this one teacher that supports us throughout our four years in high school and makes sure we are succeeding. For me personally, I'm going to go into something with psychology and they offer an advanced psychology class which I'm interested in taking. I want to become an orthodontist so I'm going to have to take a lot of sciences and applied sciences to become an orthodontist and I think when you choose your AP courses you want to you want it to match up with what you want to be. And with the AP capstone diploma they have a, a track and they guide you through which AP classes are valuable, which ones you should take if you have extra time and it, the AP capstone diploma shows colleges that you are motivated and you're dedicated to hard work and that they would they should definitely want you in their program. Our Fame and Heat programs are two choice academies here that we offer at Maryland High School. The Heat is the Hospitality, Entrepreneurship, and Tourism Academy focusing on all aspects of the hospitality industry. Food service, entertainment, hotel, lodging, um, and uh, students in that academy have the opportunity to take multiple classes here at Merritt Island as well as field trips in the industry that focuses on working in the industry. They will also get their Surf Safe certification which is a manager level for food handling. Um, I switched from another school specifically for the HEAT program because I'm interested in focusing on hospitality and majoring in hospitality in college. And so I felt like the HEAT program would like influence colleges and give me some better experience for my future career. The FAME Academy is our fine arts and multimedia entertainment where students get to choose which aspect of the fine arts or performing arts that they want to focus on and gear their electives towards those classes with multiple industry certifications in each sector. But you get a different experience here because we have a course director, a band director, an orchestra director. Everyone is in their own section. Red Island has a huge variety of different things to do. So, like instead of just focusing on school like I was at the other school, I now can like focus on sports and do things like the Heat Academy that will like, get me farther. 
Both um, programs are very skill-based and project-based in which the students are very hands-on and they're learning. They can apply the skills they learn in either classes or field trips or guest lectures into the career field of their choosing. With hospitality, we focus a lot on the different segments where students will get to see actual college programs that use these different segments like hotel management, event management. And then the Fame Academy, they can choose their skill base, whether it's performing arts, digital design, and focus on jobs that offer those skills. I always saw the Da Vinci program as providing a hands-on type of environment. Uh, a lot of uh, engineering courses, uh, it's a lot of book work and you know, theory and that type of thing, but I, I think personally that you learn more by doing. Uh, we have three courses that span three, three years. Uh, the first one is an introduction to engineering design, so we go through the engineering design principle. The second year is the cross, this is where we go more into depth. They're still utilizing Autodesk Inventor. We also go into some of the digital engineering for electronics. Then finally, the last year is aerospace. We are taught on a program called Autodesk Inventor. So we know how to use 3D printers, how to make parts and different things. Um, we learned how 3D printers don't just print in plastic. They can print in metal, they can print in glass, they can print in almost anything. You do not have to know how to play an instrument, or sing, or draw, or anything. And there are tons of classes for entry level, so if you've never done anything, you can get into a beginning level class and work your way up into an advanced class if you want whether band, orchestra, chorus, theater, visual arts, photography, we all have a, an entry level class and then you can work your way up to something more advanced. And I've been playing instruments since fifth grade in elementary school with Miss Butler who is the orchestra director at the school. And the way she teaches a class is different from other people. She doesn't just teach, she helps out, she plays, she rewards us, she, she cares about what she's teaching us. You can take multiple classes. I have students in my chorus program that are also in band. I have several orchestra students who are also in chorus. I have ROTC students. I've got AP students. I, I just found out I've got three or four Da Vinci Academy students that are also in my program. If they are planning on going into music, obviously having a core um, understanding of music and knowledge and skill set helps them get into a college or helps them get into a career. There are so many benefits to the music programs um, and so much, so many benefits to music itself. We talk about teamwork, we talk about self-discipline, um, leadership roles. These kids that come in as little baby freshmen and they're quiet and, and just ready to learn and absorb and by the time I see them as their seniors, they're leading my classes, they're leading band classes, they're drum majors. They are ready to walk into a program and, I won't say take over, but they could in some aspects. I was able to challenge myself both academically and uh, with my personal achievements by performing in our top bands and our jazz bands and going to um, solo ensemble and working with our uh, musical performance assessments, getting superiors every year that we've gone. And it's really helped me kind of understand how to both balance my academics with my uh, personal stuff. I chose Merritt Allen for Coach Plucky. He's helped me since I was 12, maybe even younger. Um, I just didn't want to go anywhere else because of him. He's helped me a lot and I just couldn't see anybody else helping me. They make me strive for excellence and they push me, they make me grind harder and I do the same for them. So whenever I'm on top of my books and my grades, they're doing the same thing and it's like a helping, it's like a brotherhood that we have. So we're strong together. It improves my experience because like we're a close family. Like that's, that's what brought us together. Just seeing each other in the hallways uplifts everybody. Both of my coaches, they support me very well. You know, they try to help me out throughout my classes and stuff, make sure I'm on track. You know, and that, that helps me a lot more that they care, you know. It brings a lot of 
chemistry like built into the school and stuff. It showed me a lot about the school overall, and how really the people is. It really helps me be bigger. Man, you know, it's start to learn and develop. You know, because when you leave and you gotta <laughs> you gotta know all these things, you know. But it just builds me up to be a bigger person and stuff. It's just a great atmosphere to be a part of. It's a chance to be a part of something bigger than yourself. It's a lot of fun and just again really competitive. Just a great atmosphere to be around and it really pushes you and strives you to be your best on and off the court, field, whatever. And it's really a good opportunity to make a lot of long-lasting friendships and a lot of good memories. Merritt Island Volleyball in specific, it really pushes you, like whether it's in the weight room or on the court. Um, Coach Patrick really does a good job of mixing things up and really making sure that we're developing in every aspect. She really cares about pushing us to our abilities and really focuses on making sure that we're individually making growth and that we're always getting better at our game, whether that be different positions and so on. She really just makes sure that everybody is getting the most out of everything. It's helped me out a lot because Coach Widener and Coach Plucky are both talking to colleges and they're trying to put out a good word for me and they see something really big in me. Coach Grant, he's like an amazing teacher. He was my weight training coach and he's pushed me to do better like all around in sports and everything like that, all academics. For me. I know all the coaches are really good here, specifically my coach, Coach Patrick, she really cares about on the court growth and off the court growth, whether it's, you know, your personal growth, academics, athletics, you know, they really prioritize things and they want to get you better on and off the court or field or whatever. So it's just, it's really a good opportunity to grow in academics and athletics because they really want to push you in both. The community here is great. Everyone is open to helping you out if you need help. You can just go to someone and ask, hey, I don't actually understand this. I just need a little bit more help. It's also a very broad community. We have people from different backgrounds, people with different experiences. So it helps bring different experiences that you won't get in other places. It's specifically the hospitality teacher. She went to the college that I'm trying to get into so she's been a big help on like what I need to do to prepare for that and to get me there to my dream college. And what I like about Merritt Island is the fact that so many teachers are involved in your academic life and they want to see you succeed so they'll give you that tough love but in the end it's just to make sure that you pass. The, the whole staff is like nice and they care about what you do and how you're doing. Especially if you're not, if English is not your first language. Like, they'll always help you and support you. I wish I could pick one, but there's so many of them that actually care and support me. The thing about Merritt Island is that you have choices here. You have a broad selection of classes. Um, you have the arts, you have like JORTC, you have accelerated learning, wherever you fit in. They also offer JRTC, which gets you scholarships for college, and it's just a great program overall. The musics can get you scholarships. I'm also on the basketball team, and the basketball team can get you recommendations if you're good enough. So that's the thing about Merritt Island. It's just broad, and it's the best place to go where you want multiple options. <laughs> the teachers of Merritt Island are, are very interactive with their students. If you have any problems or you need any clarifications, you can definitely reach out to them and they're more than happy to help you. Uh, when you do well in their class, they realize what extracurricular activities that you might be interested in and they'll actually reach out for you. I know my experience with government and history, I was reached out to my teachers, uh, by my teachers to participate in the Model Student Senate and it has opened a lot more opportunities of uh, possible internships, possible clubs, stuff that will help me along my I love this place. Like, it's my home. Like, I grew up here. I started playing softball here. It's just my home. <laughs> I don't know anything else. Thank you again for taking time to watch our showcase video. I hope you found the video informative and learned more about our programs, academics, athletics, and extracurricular activities we have here on our campus. If you need more information, please reach out to the school. We look forward to having your student on our campus in the fall of 2021. 
Dooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo